my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, Jay Schatzer, and I got an amazing flick lined up for us. It is John Carpenter's creepy, creepy, creepy ass 1987 flick, Prince of Darkness. And what a special flick it is. You're really going to enjoy this one, and if you're a John Carpenter fan and you haven't seen this one, get on it. It's great. So here we go, guys. John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness is a highly atmospheric horror film directed by the master of genre flicks, John Carpenter. Following the cult success of his prior directorial effort, Big Trouble in Little China, Carpenter delves back into his horror roots to unearth a frightening spectacle that is as thought-provoking as it is moody and surreal. Knee-deep in foreboding doom and filled to the brim with an all-star cast of character actors, this late 80s entry really packs a punch consumed in apocalyptic tones and oozing that trademark Carpenter style, Prince of Darkness is a sorely underappreciated horror film that delivers an engaging storyline which should please anyone out there that likes their horrors crafted with genuine feel and unabashed heart. The film begins with a local priest stumbling onto an unusual vial of green liquid in the basement of an abandoned Los Angeles church. Sensing an evil presence within the vial and fearing the worst, the priest enlists the help of Professor Howard Byrack and his team of colleagues and graduate students to investigate the archaic relic. Once there, the team begins to experience all sorts of unexplainable phenomenon, which only seems to strengthen the longer they stay on the grounds of the monastery. With a malevolent presence consuming the lives of each of the researchers and an ancient evil beginning to breach itself into the world of the living, could this spell the end of the world for mankind, or is this just a new beginning? When it comes to an all-star cast, Prince of Darkness definitely takes the cake. The legendary Donald Pleasance embodies the role of the central priest character, and he simply nails it in the doom and gloom department. His prophetic descriptions of an ancient evil or anti-god is chilling, and his presence in the film is essential in relaying to the audience that the events that are taking place in this movie are not to be taken lightly. The same can be said for Victor Wong, who plays the role of Professor Howard Byrack. He's equally fervent in his delivery, and when the two share screen time together, the film literally hits an authentic pitch that solidifies the severity of the situation at hand. As for the rest of the cast, Carpenter spared no expense in keeping the quality consistent across the board. Among the long list of actors in this film, the real standouts are Lisa Blount as Catherine Danforth, James Parker as Brian Marsh, Dennis Dunn as Walter, Peter Jason as Dr. Paul Leahy, and Jesse Lawrence Ferguson as Calder. Everyone does a tremendous individual job with putting life into the picture, but it is the collaborative effort of the combined cast that really interjects a sense of purpose and authenticity to the production. Another one of the long list of assets that Prince of Darkness has going for it is John Carpenter's impeccable ability to gradually build the tension as the movie moves along. These are especially prevalent during the many disposition moments of the film, where we begin to figure out what is going on inside this church by gathering the bits and pieces of knowledge that each character uncovers as they delve into the mystery of the liquid-filled glass vial. Carpenter also uses a genuinely masterful visual mechanism in the form of visions of the future, which slowly begin to appear in small fragments, gradually revealing more and more of the mystery as the film nears its apocalyptic conclusion. The tension in these moments are quite effective, giving a tantalizing taste of what's to come, while simultaneously making us question the very nature of the film. Of course, with this being a horror movie, and a John Carpenter one to boot, you know there are going to be some wildly demented imagery in the mix, and some insanely enjoyable situations to revel in. One of the most interesting aspects of this production is that it is a strange brew of religion and science fiction, with a zombie twist. Like a page straight out of Invasion of the Body Snatchers or The Exorcist, the main villains of this movie are ordinary people, yet changed and deformed by the effects of this evil entity that is narrowing the gap between its world and ours. Initially, the derelicts and vagrants residing around the church are first affected by the malevolent presence. Then it soon spreads to the research team as the vial of liquid makes contact and then infects the rest of the crew. 
The overall theme of the film is at its core, good versus evil. And through the presence of Donald Pleasance's priest character, you have an overwhelming notion that this is a spiritual war with God and Satan at the forefront. In a sense, this is the essential premise of the movie, but Carpenter switches the formula up a bit and adds a futuristic element into the mix in the form of a visual warning from the future. Add onto that the tried and true premise of a zombie survivor horror flick and you've got yourself one hell of an original story while at the same time making for one devilishly good time at the movies. Prince of Darkness is a wonderful Carpenter vehicle and the collaborative effort between the cast of characters and their essential roles in the film are perfectly executed and tremendously balanced. Donald Pleasance and Victor Wong simply knock their performances out of the park, while Lisa Blount, James Parker, and Dennis Dunn leave a lasting impression that really amplifies the enjoyability factor of this horror gem. Hell, even Alice Cooper turns out an unforgettable performance as a homeless murderer. In true Carpenter fashion, the atmosphere of the production is palpable, bringing about a heightened sense of believability to this otherworldly haunting opus that grabs you the minute the film begins to roll. With its motley assortment of genre staples, sci-fi elements, possession antics, heaven and hell parallels, and downright zombie-filled goodness, Prince of Darkness is an underrated Carpenter effort that truly deserves a wider and more appreciative audience. It's right on par with the rest of his horror-tinged classics, and it's probably one of his most foreboding films to date, so check it out. In my humble opinion, this flick is a Carpenter classic. And that pretty much sums it up, guys. Prince of Darkness is a freaking great film and it's pretty much unforgettable it's a classic that should be put up with Halloween and other of Carpenter's great hits you really should check it out if you haven't seen it and give it a chance because it's got atmosphere up the yin yang but um that's it for tonight that's going to be the film review in the night and we'll see what we're going to be doing next time but if you like what we're doing like and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you want to, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time with another awesome horror movie review. And uh, Halloween's coming. Halloween's coming. See you guys later.